Malor! What took you so long, cousin? You're our leader, remember? No sleeping in. Provisional leader. Just until her ladyship returns. Yeah, well, I think he's doing great. Yeah, <laughs> poor Noah. You got a lot of folks to please. For the past week, I tasked all of you with converting these ruins into an acceptable headquarters. However, there is still much to be done. Oh, please, no more physical labor. I'm so much better at flexing my mind. At least the soldiers have a place to sleep now. Ah, uh, it won't be as fancy as my inn back in Elder's Vice, but I'll make sure everyone gets decent meals. And I'm still combing the mines for any soldiers we missed. If I may, there are a few people I'd like to introduce. The name's Gakto. Emir expressed interest in building a town here. And when I smell profit... Ah... Uh, I mean, when I smell justice against an oppressive empire, then I say, sign me up. Just so happens I'm well salted in the art of stewardship. Anyway, one long-term goal is to set up a local guild. I'll keep you posted. I am Iris, an architect and former professor at the University of Carl, who has long dreamt of designing a town of my own. Much to my delight, Emir reached out and has given me the chance to put my skills to use on your behalf. If you find yourself in need of a new building, I am your lady. The University of Carl? Very impressive, Miss Iris. Hello, I'm Kane. Gokto introduced me. I manage your warehouse. If we want our new town to flourish, we'll need countless resources and a place to stash them. That's where I come in. to look after a whole town's resources. You mind taking me on as an apprentice? Certainly, young lady. There's a lot to learn, but you look like you can keep up. Thank you all. Yet while we've achieved the bare minimum of infrastructure, we must strive for more. It's not just the facilities that are lacking. We need people. Fair enough. Can't call ourselves an army if it's just nine folks and a couple of pitchforks. I've been nosing around Eltisvice and the neighboring villages. Imps are still there, but their patrols are getting sloppy. We might be able to do some recruiting. Then let's hop to it! Bigger headquarters, more comrades, onward and upward! But if you don't mind me adding to the pile, cousin, there's one more matter you gotta tend to. Dare I even ask? It's fine. What is it? 
you gotta name this castle. Can't keep calling it the ruins or the castle or whatnot. That ain't gonna impress no one. Now that's an idea I can get behind. Think carefully, man. This is one of those watershed moment dealies. A name for the castle, is it? Very well. Dazzle me with your creativity. I'm inclined to agree. Flawless execution, cousin. Well, I suppose that is a name of sorts. Now then, if we are to stage an actual resistance, we must grow our numbers. An army is only as strong as its people, after all. Going forward, you should seek out as many new comrades as possible. And you might not have to go far to find them. We'll give it our best, right everyone? I took the liberty of putting together a little town development plan. Would you care to take a look? It takes a lot to make a town, you know. Building the facilities we need will be hard enough, 
but we'll also have to find the right people to run them. Building mood, are we? Please come by any time. Stores for supplies are a given, but fields and farms would be nice too. If our population grows, we'll also need some entertainment. You can use this development tree to keep track of our progress. It'll be tough finding the right materials and the right people, but I'm sure that growing our town will make the Alliance stronger in the long run. So, you'd best get to it, yes? I'll go ahead and line my pockets. Ha, ha, ha! 
I have things to do, you know. You got it! All right. Perfect. You caught me when I was warmed up. You're safe in my hands. Me? I do love traveling with you. Off with you. to come together, so feel free to leave your junk with us. We'll watch it like hawks. Welcome! See you next time. Hey! Steer to your business. You need an expert to join your ranks and find new mines? I could be cajoled into it, and could be at that. But I swings my mattock for no amateur. You gots to prove your mind savvy first. I'll teach you how to mine for iron ore. Bring me three pieces, then we talk. I'd be quick about it, yeah? Days long, and my patience ain't. Got it? Good. Now, get to it.
gonna walk all over you! Not a hair out of place. for you, hmm? Huh? Interesting. Yes! even count as exercise.
I won't learn anything from you. Last one! That's what you get! This shouldn't be hard. Walk all over you. Where's the challenge? If it isn't Noah, I hear you've built yourself quite a town. 
See, I told you you'd go far. I suppose you'll be needing an item shop. There's this guy I know named Hiro who might be up to the task. You have a place with us. Now that's what I like to hear. You've got yourself a deal. Where's the challenge? Here's the place, so it is. Peaks must sniffer in all the right ways. Are you looking for something? Huh? Who in blazes are you? And how'd you get the drop on me? Oh, sorry about that. I'm Noah, and I I'm just trying to help. Pig stuck me, but didn't. Looks like there be trustworthy humans after all. Well, the name's Galdorf, and I'm a rising star among dwarven warriors. It's an honor to meet you, Galdorf. Noah, was it? Do I smell a bit of transcultural friendship in the way you be speaking to me? Uh, I guess? Anyway, you seemed like you needed a hand, so... Deed I do, deed I do. I'm looking for what's called Pale Night Meal. It's crafted from the ore what's mined here. 
Rising dwarf star like myself ain't but naked without it, you see. But brave as I be, if I tackles this cave alone, I gots me a 50%. No, a 73%. No, an 89.9% chance things are gonna go sideways right quick. The nearer the prize, the stubbier the fingers, if you get what I'm seeing. Uh, would you like me to go find this Pale Knight mail for you? Glory be! This one's gonna brave a dungeon for me without my even asking. Fala's got a name, and it be Noah. Noah, my exemplar of Vala. Remember, you promised to be fetching that pale night mail for me. I'm counting on ya. Resorting to violence. You will keep me safe, yes?
This shouldn't be hard. Exercise. I won't learn anything from you. Well done, lad. You've potential and then some. But somebody needs to take you under their wing. Now let's strike out for new mountains. Give me a tunnel and an hour, and I'll have your whole operation up and running. Welcome to the ranks. Glad to help, so I am. You will keep me safe, yes?
I just hate resorting to violence. Just hate resorting to violence. His exercise. Do this. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, got him. <laughs> we cleaned right up. You will keep me safe, yes?
You will keep me safe, yes? <laughs> How about that? I'd say we did a pretty good job with the place. Well, I'm not resting on my laurels just yet. I promised Perry I'd do my best, after all. Oh, now, you are the very picture of persistence. The inn is always open to you, should it get too much, though. She ran off again. She who? Oh, no, you don't mean. 
Poopy. Oh, hey, Poopy. Sadly, this is not Poopy appreciation time. The luckiest girl alive is getting smiled upon and living for antiquity again. Rather reckless of her, don't you think? Sure is. She might even give you a run for your money. Meaning what exactly? You heard me. Anyway, let's go. Wave and the Grand Warden are discussing what to do, and we should join them. All right. Marissa, the Grand Warden, remember? Oh, there you are, Marissa. Is it true she took off again, wife? Poopy? Mm-hmm. No warning. Same as when she first got here. From what I gather, she heard Primal Lens and Treefolk Village in the same sentence, and then poof! Gone. It's my fault. I'm the one who told her. It. She had this glimmer in her eyes when she asked. Uh, don't blame yourself. Someone was bound to let it slip eventually. So what shall we do about this? As I recall, Wave, you promised to watch over her. Do you consider this watching? I was careless, Grand Warden. I'll handle it. I'm sorry, Wave. You shouldn't have to apologize when she's my responsibility. When did I apologize? Oh, back there. Eh, doesn't count. I didn't use the word sorry. Guess being around Marissa is making me pretty good at fake apologies. <laughs> hey! Anyway, something's eating at me. You heard how they found that primal lens up north, right? And how there's now some kind of war brewing? Might be time the Guardians rethought their place in the world. That strikes me as quite the leap. Yeah, probably. Forget I said anything. Right now, you need to drag your friend home. Shouldn't take you too long if she's a Treefold Village. The only thing faster than me in the woods is the wind. Don't worry, I'll bring her back. I don't care how lucky she thinks she is. Poop. 
Bree. I'm coming with you. Me too. I know the way. Mind tagging along, Guru? Why? Think they'll need a little extra muscle? Uh, muscle never hurts. Fair enough. Dad! Are you leaving again? Don't worry, baby girl. Dad'll be back at your side before you can blink. Just gotta help Marissa collect a wayward friend is all. I wish to succeed in this task, Marissa. You and Lean are my very first friends. I do not want anything to happen to you. I know, Nell. All right, then. Lead the way. Adam, I know I'm raring to go.